All right, Conservation Commission. It is April 26th, 2018, 7 p.m. Meeting is uh, convened. Members present, Steve Barrett. Louis Mission. Brian Dana. We have a re relatively quick agenda, I believe, in front of us. Uh, we have no old business to, to address. Uh, we do have a request from Eversource for the utility maintenance on their right of way on line 312 that we need to acknowledge that we have received, uh, which I'm doing at this particular minute. And we have a request in front of us. Here is, if you guys want to review Eversource's paperwork. Is there just one spot or is that it? I believe it's just the one line. This is what makes us compelling television. <laughs> <laughs> so where are Old Albany? Looks like it's oh, the going, old? going in off of Old Albany. I was just telling you there's a website, I guess. Is this, is this something that we already? Uh... It's what they have to submit every year. The railway also has one. When we go through our mail, there's one from the railway. OK, this isn't that one that we went out there? No, I don't believe so. For the cutting? Yeah, the cutting. What's this? Just maintenance? Is that what you Changing some insulators on it. Oh. Yeah. It's what they submit to us every year. Yeah. Okay. So then we also have in front of us a request for comment from the um, <coughs> uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals that uh, they're appealing, Michael Colleen of 112 Sunderland Road, South Deerfield, is appealing the Building Commissioner's letter dated November 16, 2017, regarding the bylaw at 3700. Um, we were involved in this, if you remember, um, that uh, he had filed an RDA, we had gone done a site visit, yeah. and according to DEP, we issued a negative determination that we had no jurisdiction. Um, normally our comments have been that we don't really have a comment. So I didn't know if that was something you guys are comfortable with. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay, our official comment will be, no comment. as always, no comment. No, doesn't seem to be an issue there. Not for the CONCOM. No. Okay, then we have part of our public hearing issue is that <clears throat> any other business not reasonably known 48 hours prior to the meeting, and then it's, it says, and the reason I'm reading this is because we do have something I think we need to discuss. It's, uh, the listing of matters are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all, not all items listed may, in fact, be discussed, and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. And the reason I'm doing that is we have a request, WPA Form 7, Extension Permit for Order of Conditions, submitted by New England Bakers for the Pickle Shop property. Now, it was received according to this note. This came in after the CONCOM agenda was posted. This order of conditions expires the 5th of May in 2018. So at that point, I called Mark Stinson because I, I thought this is a pretty important project for the town of Deerfield. Um, his comment to me was, 
okay to issue this in the, at our May meeting, yeah. as long as we acknowledge that we received it before the order of conditions expired. Oh, okay. So basically what I did today, this was unstamped when it came in. So what I did is put in the file number <coughs> and stamped it and initialed it that we did receive it before the, the order of conditions expired. So by doing that, we put this on the agenda for our May meeting and we're able to at that point sign off and give them the extension that they want. But this is the important thing here is that we have this dated yep, before. before it expired. If not, then they got to go back through the whole procedure again. So I'm going to make a motion that we sign, we put this on our agenda for our May 24th meeting. And at that point, we're able to sign it, debate it, and sign off on it. But at this point, I'd like to just put it on the agenda for May. I'll second that. Okay. All right. All right, good. That's, that was Can my. I oh. just see that? Just to make a note here. <clears throat> okay, then we've got our monthly mail to address. Uh, we have a request sent to me asking me to join the Connecticut River Conservancy, which I'm not doing. Uh, we also have our budget that shows that we have available to us $359.63 available. We have a letter from Keith L. Morris, uh, dear sir or madam, the correspondence serves as formal notification in accordance with the pesticide board regulation. Uh, blah, blah. The Pan Am Railways will commence with post-emergent herbicide application on or after May 1st, 2000, typo, 2017, it's 2018, and conclude on or about August 1st, 2018. The specific date of application in your community shall depend on scheduling and weather conditions. Um, the letter is dated April 15th, 2018, so I am assuming that the date of the 17th is a typo since we cannot go back in time as best I understand it. So, um, again, this is the yearly boilerplate that they submit to us as part of, uh, of what they do. So, and then uh, we have a couple of well, the Thursday, April 19th meeting, pretty much not going to make that one either. It's that time travel thing is still intact. Um, Tuesday, May 22nd, that Lenox Town Hall, and then April 24th. Yeah, we're not going to any of these. Make, <laughs> we're not going to make any of these. <laughs> so that would be that. And then we have our last item on our, our second to last item would be the review of the minutes from last month's meeting. Second that. Aye. And then our last item of business, I believe, would be to set a date for our next meeting, which I believe is the 24th of May. I actually looked at the calendar before I left, and my wife told me to write it down. I didn't. And here it is. <laughs> yes, the 24th. <laughs> All right, with that, it's 7-11. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Aye. Aye.